We're rolling. Start. <laughs> Let's do it. Hey. Yeah. Here comes the episode. Thank you guys. It's been, it was so great to have you guys here. Thank you. Thank you. I give, I give a big, a big round of applause for Brad Ellis. <laughs> stop it. No, stop it. Stop it. No, no, no. Jake is the guy we should be clapping for. Come on. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you. I tell you, if you uh, if if you loved me anymore, you'd you'd be my mom. <laughs> ah, okay, tough crowd. Tough hey, crowd. everyone that everyone that loves Timon, give it up for Timon. <laughs> Timon I'm Amsh, everybody. Fu <laughs> Nobody. Funny. Uh, his name is Timon, but he's not here to put the time in. <laughs> this guy, this guy is good. Hey, hey, everybody, quiet down, quiet oh, down, hey, quiet down. Hey, shut hey, up, hey, shut up. Should we start the episode? <laughs> oh! <laughs> start it. Oh, that's in the middle of it. Okay, it doesn't start at the beginning. Okay, put it in digitally then. <laughs> Uh, uh oh, ooh, I, ooh, I think this tight beat means that it's going down with some random thoughts and white meat too. Midwest best friends eating fast food on repeat, so come along, let's have some fun and go ahead, get on your feet, cause it's the Ghost Brothers Podcast. Oh, gonna be a fun episode. Uh, time is not here. Oh, Brad's. <laughs> No, I'm stuck. I'm stuck on my cord. Brad's stuck on his cord. That just my drinks. cord is cannibalizing itself. <laughs> He's, there's stuff falling off the shelf. I'm committed to getting this without standing up. <laughs> it's going to be a fun episode. Time has gone. I, I honestly, I forgot where he's at. I texted him earlier and he said, yeah, I should have time for that. I'll be riding the train back from Illinois. So anything I thought he was doing. I think he's in Illinois. Well, I forget. Oh, yeah, he's with his cousin or something, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, cousin stuff. Either way, didn't expect to be riding a train back. Uh, so just Brad and I, and we got the soundboard to ourselves. So <laughs> we're going to have some fun today. Uh, we got a special guest you can see on YouTube. We got, a we got a chair. Who's it for? Stay tuned for about 20 minutes longer, and you'll see. We also got a Chief's bobblehead here. That's new. <laughs> Uh, where to start, Brad? Where to start, brother? Um, I'll tell you where to start. Somewhere between 10 and 2. I don't know. that. I was thinking like 5 o'clock somewhere, but that didn't make sense for 10 and 2. Because we're driving. Because we're, we're, we're driving because it's not an alcoholic. <laughs> yeah. So I'm driving. <laughs> I'm driving here. Where do we start? Um, Jake, I went to Pennsylvania this past weekend. Let's start there. Oh, that's right. Let's start there. Um, also, throughout this episode... We're going to do something fun. I'm going to post a video to Gene Short's comedy. <laughs> Instagram. And we're going to see, I'm going to update you on its performance throughout the video. It, at, the, at the beginning, it could be kind of bleak. <laughs> Brad loves But then eventually, <laughs> maybe the crickets will go away, and it's a viral sensation. <laughs> stop, stop, crickets. <laughs> All right, so Pennsylvania. We've yeah. hung out a lot since then, and I haven't really asked you about it because I wanted to hear about it on the podcast. Okay, so... Give everyone the context. What you go up there for again? Yep. Um, friend TJ is hosting a marriage conference. Uh, TJ and Brooke run Walk in Love. It is a clothing company, but they also have a podcast where they talk about marriage, life, parenting, all the good stuff. Honestly, if you don't listen to it, I would recommend it because I think TJ and Brooke both have similar humor to us. They just have a little more substance to their podcast yeah. than we do. Where they just are more direct about what they're talking about. But um, really, really love TJ. TJ and I connected through Jake because uh, Jake used to be Trey's plus one at this oh, yeah. uh, influencer meetup thing that Trey was in. Everyone brought their spouses. Trey brought me. <laughs> yeah, so it was, yeah, whatever, five couples and Trey and Jake. Um, but Trey and TJ hit it off. TJ hit it off enough to listen to our podcast and said, hey, Brad, want to be in this fa fatherhood group called Integrated With Me? Joined him. He was awesome. So I was going up to Pennsylvania. He's from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I always want to say Lancaster. 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 
I, I kind of tried to like make that a joke throughout the day yeah. where I would just be like making it more and more ridiculous. I'm like, Lancaster. <laughs> but I think it still sounds normal enough. Like that's how you're supposed to say it, that people didn't really laugh as much as I wanted them to. Like, okay, yeah, he's getting um, to it. So yeah, Lancaster, PA. Uh, that's another thing they say in Pennsylvania. They don't say Pennsylvania, they say PA. No other state does that, I oh, think. That's true. They're not like, I'm going to uh, Los Angeles, CA. Yeah. Yeah. To Vegas. KS. Which one? In V, baby. In V, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, it's kind of cool, PA. Like, Scranton, PA. Yeah. No one else, I don't think. Kansas, KS. No, you're not You're not being like, I'm going to Olathe, KS. I will say from time to nah, it's not really the letters, because we'll say like Stratford, Mo. W- Mo is cool. Mo I do, is not bad. KC Mo is pretty sweet sounding. I'm not going to lie. It's not M-O. But yeah. Mo, it's it's St. Louis Mo. Yeah, yeah, it's acknowledging the abbreviation. Mo, they put Mo on a lot of things in Missouri because that's all like Como is like County Missouri. So like Columbia, Ta- Missouri. Well, but like Taney County, Missouri has oh. a lake called Taney Como, or Clay uh, County, Missouri has Clay Como Lake. So it's like yeah. Clay County, Missouri. Yeah, kind of cool. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Not as cool as you know all the murder rates in Missouri, but. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's less cool. Well, it's less cool it's, than that. It's cooler than that. Anyway, I was going to Lancaster, PA, and it's a small town, you know, two hours outside of Philadelphia. And, but I found a flight, like, like I asked TJ, like, what's the closest airport? He's like, probably Harrisburg, or I can eat, always drive to Philadelphia to pick you up. I'm like, dude, like you are putting on this massive event. Yeah. Don't worry about coming mm. two hours to Philadelphia to come get me. Um, and so I looked up actually from you, I learned that you can just like Google flights. Like, so I Googled Lancaster or Kansas city to Lancaster and it came up with like an option to go right to Lancaster airport. And TJ's like that. I could bike there. It's so close. I was like, prove it. Yeah. I was like, strap on the pegs and let's do this. (laughs) My wheelie bag in the back, just bouncing. (laughs) Um, so I knew, I mean, obviously it's going to be a small, tiny airplane. So, uh, I fly from Kansas city to Philadelphia, Philadelphia to Lancaster. Kansas City to Philadelphia is a tiny plane by itself. Um, Kansas City to Philadelphia was? Yeah, not a, not a big pl- flight. It was American Airlines, but it was one of those like American Airlines operated by oh, so Envoy Air. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> something like that. And, you know, I'm not that tall of a guy, and my head was hitting the top of the airplane as I'm walking in. Congrats, tall guy. Um, and I was like, okay, I can't imagine what the next one's going to be like. So <laughs> it was a fine flight. You know, halfway through, there was this guy that like came up to me. And was like, hey, can you switch me? Can you switch me seats? Because I was sitting next to this pregnant woman. That was another whole thing. It was a 6 a.m. flight. There was this pregnant woman, really long hair. And it was like this weird thing where every once in a while her hair would touch my arms. I don't know. She was sitting next to you? Uh Uh-huh. That wasn't like crazy long, but like halfway down her back. And it was just, it was just free flow, free flow. And she was trying to like readjust. She's pregnant. And so I'm like trying to give her the benefit of the doubt. And it wasn't like she was being weird about it, but like I could just feel her hair brushing on my arm. <laughs> and I'm a big guy already kind of squeezing in here in this like, you know, two, it's like only two in the aisle or in the, yeah, per aisle. So I'm just in there. And this guy comes up and he's like, hey, can you switch me seats? Uh, I want to sit by her. And I was like, I, I turned to her and I was like, is, is that okay with are, you? Are you? I just want to make sure like <laughs> I wasn't doing something weird. Like, please no. Um, switched with this guy and he's like, I have the, I have the front row of the, of the airplane. I was like, first class. Yes. I'll switch you. Uh, not the front row of the airplane, front row of coach and liar. You know how those airplanes are like the front rows. Uh, the seats don't have like the open, open underneath the armrests. Do you know what I'm talking about? They're like solid panels underneath the armrests. Oh yes. Not good for a guy who's a little bit bubbly. (laughs) <laughs> and so, you know, I'm I usually, usually underneath the armrest is where some, I kind of spread out the legs, some spills. And so yeah. I'm like, yeah, of course I'll go front row. And I'm walking up there. He's like, okay, it's, it's eight a. And I was like, wait a second. Eight a is not front row. Eight a doesn't seem like the very front, uh, walk up and there, there it is with the solid panels. Luckily I had a lot of leg room. So I kind of extended that way. All I have to say, not really great part of the story. Great part of the story is I get to Philadelphia. I know I have like an hour ish before my next flight, um, walking around, whatever. And I'm like, I should probably go check out my gate. Uh, gate had changed. So I went to the new gate. It was gate 18 a B. I think I was like different, different looking gate than I've ever seen before. Whatever. I come up to this gate and the, the seating area waiting for this gate. I'm not joking is, is 15 chairs. Okay. And I'm like, okay, this is a tiny plane. It's Lancaster. That's how they do it there. Um, I'm ready for a tiny plane. You know, you had chosen your seats beforehand, and it was one of those like one 
uh, seat on one side, two seats on the other. Oh, sure, yeah. You know, tiny plane. No problem. It's how, how long of a flight can it be? And so all the flight attendants in Philadelphia were talking crazy fast. It was awesome. It was like a raffle. Or, you know, like a, not a raffle, <laughs> like but like an auction. a- Yeah, like an auction or something. You hey, see get it like one, a, give it to you here, yeah, 13 a. Yeah, yeah, and so so this woman's like, we got a Lancaster, blah, 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 blah. and I was like, okay. Uh, I look out my window of this, you know, 15-person gate, and there's two buses out there. And I'm like, oh, interesting. Like, where are the planes? Maybe, like, I guess- these buses are going to take it. Like, that's how tiny this plane is. It's like not even in the uh, actual airport. It's like, whatever. Um, so they're, they're calling it out and I'm in boarding group seven and they're like, all right, flight, blah, 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 696 to Lancaster, uh, boarding group one, go, go ahead and board. No one stands up boarding group two. No one stands up. They're like, all right, all other available people. <laughs> <laughs> and I look around and like, I think one person had stood up the entire time before me. I was like, okay, I guess I'm going. So I walk outside and oh, the, the flight to Philadelphia, the, the top bins were so small that I had to check my bag underneath. Have you ever had to do that? Oh yeah. Okay. So, and I only brought one bag, didn't bring my backpack. And so I was like, well, my computer's in there. So I'll just hold my computer. You can throw everything else. And so I'm walking out to do the same thing. And they're like, do you have any lithium batteries in your bag? And I was like, oh, I have my computer. I can take it out. And they're like, oh, you can take it out if you want, but I mean, it's just going to get a little bit warm in the bus. And I was like, <laughs> warm. What? Okay. Yeah, I'll take it out. <laughs> and so then I'm walking. I have no idea what that sentence would mean. So I'm like, walking. <laughs> so, so I'm walking. They're like, they'll, they'll tell you which, which bus to get on. And I was like, okay. So I'm walking over to the bus and this guy throws my bag underneath. It's like a charter bus. Like it's like a big, like one that you'd see like a youth group going on a ski or, trip. Or we're like, we're going to prom. Uh, yeah, maybe if you went on a problem, this bus, good for you. Okay. I mean, um, and I get on this bus and I look at the, the screen before I left, it said flight 696 to Lancaster, one hour and 40 minutes. I was like, one hour 40, that seems like a very long flight for something so short. Oh no. And so I'm boarding this bus, <laughs> oh, dude, no. I'm boarding this bus and there's two other people on this bus. It's me and two other people. I'm like, I don't think, I don't think we're flying to Lancaster, <laughs> dude. I think we're taking this freaking bus. I think we are on a bus to Lancaster. And I'm like, I'm waiting there. Still not positive. I was like, maybe they're going to take us down the runway to this tiny plane or something. <laughs> I was like, there's no one else on this thing. And so I'm like, well, I'll just look. I looked at my uh, confirmation email. It didn't say anything about a bus. It Nothing. still felt like an airplane. It said, it's, so, so this one is American Airlines operated by American Eagle. And of course, Scott was like, oh, I like Hollister. <laughs> I was like, good one, Scott. Um, and so operated by American Eagle. And so I'm like, okay, well, it says flight. Nothing's on here. So I think maybe we're still flying, but an hour, 40 minutes. I Google mapped how long it takes to get to Lancaster. Hour, 46 minutes. Look pretty on the dot. <laughs> and so I Google American Airlines flight 696 or whatever it was. And it said boarding in Philadelphia gate 18 AB. Drop off in Lancaster gate C U R B. I'm like, that's that spells curb. This thing is driving me to Lancaster, dude. <laughs> so I took a flight, a flight that was not a flight. It was a freaking bus. I can't believe that can happen in America. I don't, and no one else, everyone else seemed to just know or just be fine with it. The other two people on the bus. I mean, there was three people in the in the driver. And I mean, we get going and we're literally like driving on the runway. We're just leaving the airport <laughs> <laughs> on the tarmac. A plane's going 500 miles. Away. Vroom! Good job, guys. See ya. Like, what was that? Was Safe that a- travels? Was that the other buses? <laughs> no, Brad, that was an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> and so I get, I get to Lane. Cause, so first of all, like I'm like, TJ, we're running like 15 minutes late. And he's like, in his head, he said later, it's like, how did he know he was running 15? 15? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and when then, we hit some traffic, it's like, what? It's six minutes, like six minutes to, to go. I was like, we're on approach. Cause I didn't want to like tell him. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I didn't know. Maybe it was like a normal thing for people in that area. And he said, TJ's like, well, I, first of all, I've never picked somebody up from the Lancaster airport before. So I was surprised that you could get a flight. And then I get there. He doesn't see me come out. He just sees me come to his car. He's just chilling at gate CURB. <laughs> he's, he's like one of 16 cars in this, in this parking lot. <laughs> and, uh, he's like, how was your flight? I was like, Good. He was like, you see that bus right there? That was it. (laughs) 
<laughs> and he didn't stop laughing for five minutes. He couldn't believe it. It's and, so funny. I mean, the fact that it that doesn't say like, hey, by the way, this is a bus. It will be kind of a bus and plane. Right. Two different modes of transportation. Uh, by, by the way, this 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 flight doesn't get off the ground. It's just <laughs> It just drives on the turnpike in PA. And do you remember, did it seem like you did pick out a seat on an airplane? A hundred percent. I picked out a seat on the bus because I, <laughs> cause on one side of the bus, there was one seat and on the other side of the bus, there were two, but there was literally, I'm not joking, three passengers on this entire, American Airlines lost money on this thing. That's so funny to think about you like kind of seeing clues, but not thinking anything of it. Like you go to pick your seat and you're like, wow, there's no emergency exit row. Uh, right. That's kind of weird. Yeah, oh, all that's right. true. And like none of them were like upgradable seats. They, they were, were all, all like the, the same. same price. I was like, I guess that's just because they all suck on this tiny thing. Um, <laughs> you're like there's not a TV on every seat. It's just like every four. <laughs> that's kind of a weird airplane. Dude, honestly, though, didn't hate the, the bus ride. Yeah. Only I mean, to read the audit's kind of funny though. And like, yeah, oh, it was awesome. Like, Catherine called me like right before, and I was like, I'm literally driving on the, the runway right now. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but like, n- you don't have to go through the whole of Baloo, the hijinks of, you know, standing in line, hearing all the security stuff. You don't get any drinks on there. They gave you a free mint on the way out. He's like, take a mint or two if you want one. I was like, you you bet I'm going to take a mint or two. Take anything you got. I mean, that is nice. Uh, no airplane mode. No. Oh, yeah. I, got so, service the whole so time? I was, yeah, I was on my computer. M- way more leg room. Way more comfortable seats. I was like, I don't hate this. I don't, I don't want to know how much I spent on it because then I might hate it. But didn't hate it. It's so funny that they said your laptop might get hot. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That was like the first okay. thing that tipped me off. I was like, what? <laughs> what? I don't think it'll get that hot. <laughs> I mean, what was it, two, it two minute ride? I mean, it's like, yeah, yeah, hot on the bus to it. Yeah, it's not like, like did you mean to say, pl- yeah, I don't know. And that looking back, I think it was like the, 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 the announcement was like, so and so, Lang, we're going on the bus, you know, whatever. But I, was, I could not understand what this woman was saying. And so do you, looking back now, do you think that is very common or do you think it was like, hey, stuff is going down with airplanes, flight traffic controllers. We're going to make sure we get you there one way or another. We'll take a bus. I, I think it's probably a new normal thing for Philadelphia to Lancaster. Okay. But I don't think it was like no one else had ever heard of it in Lancaster. Okay. <laughs> Except for TJ. TJ's mom is has been a flight attendant for 47 years. And as I was telling the story, she stopped. She goes, I know what happened to you. You took a bus, didn't you? <laughs> I was like, yes. But she's the only one that had any idea. So if you're out there and you've ever done this. But it was just amazing to me that like there was not 20 times more communication about like FYI. Hey. This thing that says flight 696 is not a flight at all. C-U-R-B. Yeah, you're like, man, uh, yeah, it's like one of those things, like it's American Airlines, but it's ran by Greyhound Air. <laughs> yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Like if it was American Eagle even, uh, Eagles fly. <laughs> I've never seen an Eagle walk from Philadelphia to Lancaster. <laughs> so anyway, it was it was a great start to the trip. Had plenty to talk about. That was like my first thing I led with at the actual marriage conference and people ate oh, it Oh, that's up. great. Yeah, I was curious. Like, I was I was waiting for other people to say, I did the same yeah, thing. Yeah, no, we all did that. Nothing. No. Nobody, <laughs> nobody else did it. I like the idea of, uh, well, Lancaster is very much Amish country. If there's one area in the United States, it's Amish country. Oh, it's yeah. It's Lancaster, PA. Oh, yeah. So I, I like to think that, like, they're still coming around in different technology. So it's like air travel, like, <laughs> yeah. no thanks. Well, yeah, we'll make you an airport, but you got a bus here. Yes, We're exactly. doing one technology at a time. Right. We just got, you know, graphic calculators. I love the idea of calling an airport and just no planes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're just a port for buses. <laughs> right. It's a train station. Yes. So, yeah, I did. I passed plenty of horse and buggies. There are a lot of, lot of horse poop on the roads, which is interesting. Interesting. Yeah, you don't yeah. think about that. At first I thought it was dog poop. I was like, how big are these dogs? Oh, yeah, some Great Danes up here. Yeah, Pennsylvania. Dutch, you know, <laughs> I was like, wow. And then I was like, oh, you're an idiot, Brad. These are, these are horse, this is horse manure. So how was actually hosting the event? How was him seeing it? You were a little nervous, great. you know, trying yeah. to figure out. Yeah. I, it was so funny. The inside joke. So I got there like, mm, I think, I think my, my plane, my, my plane rolled in, you know, about 1 PM, uh, Lancaster on Saturday and the event wasn't until Sunday morning. And so I spent a lot of time with TJ, Brooke and their family and every time I would crack a joke afterwards, like they'd be laughing. I'd be like, oh, Brad, you're going to be just fine. You're going to be just fine. <laughs> uh, what are you nervous about? <laughs> so that was like the inside joke the whole day was like, oh, you're going to be just fine. Um, but yeah, it was it was really great. TJ and Brooke are so laid back in the best way possible. Like it, they definitely cared about the event, but it wasn't like, I don't think I could have done anything. Like that would have been really wrong to them. Really? I tried. No, I'm <laughs> um, no I mean, I think overall... Their audience is a lot like ours, where it's very forgiving, very 
fun, loving, you know, humor sprinkled in with meaningful conversation. And so, um, yeah, I started off telling that story and people really enjoyed it. And TJ was there with me. So it was like, I, I enjoyed the little bit of banter for yeah, that part. It's so much nicer every second person. So much nicer. Um, and then I, it felt like we were on tight enough of a schedule that I wasn't supposed to do much Great. crazy stuff. Great. Like it was like, okay, just go out there and introduce the next person. You know, sometimes I tried to sprinkle a little bit of humor. Uh, the thing that I think was the highlight for me and hopefully for everybody else, as far as my contributions go to the show is... So we introduce ourselves, uh, you know, TJ and I talk about the bus story. We leave. TJ does like a quick 15 minute talk, kind of introducing the day. Um, and TJ's really into working out these days. You know this? Like, yeah, yeah I feel yeah. like he's always loving it. Not in like an annoying way, TJ, but like it's definitely part of his life now and he's talking about it. Um, and so he gave an analogy of like, Hey, I didn't used to like to work out. Like I, I didn't used to be comfortable with this stuff. I used to wear skinny jeans and I fit in them comfortably. <laughs> and now these thighs are yeah, flying out Boston. of Boston. Um, and so, so he brought out a barbell like to show, uh, okay. which is such a Jim Hardo move. <laughs> uh, actually the funny thing was he was like, I, uh, brought something on my carry on from Maui. Let me go get it. And he brought it out and no one laughed. And he's like, okay, that joke didn't land just like Brad's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like that joke didn't land just like brad's flight or something yeah. Like that. yeah that's pretty good but uh <clears throat> anyway kind of introduced the uh, the day and was doing some different analogies within that and like hey i wasn't comfortable with weightlifting but now i can't go without it like your marriage might be something that you know needs work uh but it, it's worth it you know kind of thing but throughout this entire talk he kept talking and making this joke about how in maui Obviously, you take your shirt off a lot more because you are, you know, on the beach all the time. Yeah, why not? And whenever you, these guys were working out, the first time you went to this CrossFit gym, this guy just took off his shirt to work out. And and so TJ's kept making these jokes. And as he's making these jokes, I'm in the green room with my friend Josh Straub. Um, and I'm like, when I go back out there, should I have my shirt off? <laughs> 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 and, and Josh died laughing. <laughs> He like 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 a good thirty seconds before he even like said anything. He's like, he's like that would be amazing, <laughs> and like I was kind of joking when I said it to him, but his reaction to it was like, like well, you think that's pretty funny? I bet everyone else would too, and so I'm like, I think I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for it. I think TJ, I know TJ well enough, um, and so we're in the back. You know, this is a pretty cool venue that we're at. We're in the back. Um, kind of watching him. It seems like he's about to finish up, so I take off my shirt. Yeah, and. He's finishing up, and as I take off my shirt, here comes Brooke and Josh's wife, Christy. <laughs> and so it's just the four of us <laughs> just hanging out backstage with me and my shirt off. And TJ took about five minutes to land that plane to finish oh. up. And so I'm just there in my <laughs> just shirtless. Any second. Yeah. Okay. You Whenever know. you're ready. <laughs> and so he finishes up, walks off stage, and I walk back on. And I just like act like I'm the biggest Jim Hardo. <laughs> like I'm just walking on, like, thanks, TJ. <laughs> I was like, I hear Lancaster's the Maui of the Northeast. <laughs> and yeah, people started dying laughing. Josh threw me my shirt, and I was like, if you would have told me I was going to take my shirt off in front of 380 <laughs> people today, I would have said, no thanks. Uh, but here I am. So that's so funny, especially because you. Uh, <laughs> Proceeded that story by saying, the nice thing was I didn't have to do too much. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what was so great about it. <laughs> yeah. I And then, like, right after I put my shirt back on, I just got really serious. So I was like... Uh, Seriously, guys, Colossians says... <laughs> <laughs> these guys, D Josh and Christy Strap, I mean, he's a doctor of psychology. He's written all these amazing books that my kids love. I love them, you know. And it's like, you just had your shirt off, man. No one's yeah. listening to anything you're saying. So um, that was the highlight for me. Um, beyond that... It was kind of crazy. The uh, the power went out in the afternoon. It was started Fun. pouring down rain, so the power went out like four times. And that is one area I feel like I could have been a lot better at. Was like back at camp camp days. Remember like the rainy day activities? Rainy day, yeah. Schedule. You got to be ready for the rainy days. I was not. I was out of season. Yeah. And so <laughs> TJ, I mean, and it was like ha midway through Josh and Christie's like kind of serious talk. And so I couldn't just be like, all right, who wants to play Simon Says? Build it with your bodies. <laughs> all right. Campfire. Yeah. Who can build it? But it was like every time it seemed like the power was back on and running for a while, it would turn off again. Dang. Luckily, though, I mean, like I said, everyone was very forgiving and understanding of like, what can you do about this? Can't control this. And yeah, TJ ran or rolled with it. And anyway, all together, it was a really, really great time. Met a lot of ghosties there. Um, 
somebody there was I'm I'm terrible at remembering all the names, but there were ghosties there that drove from North Dakota, 21 hours. It's awesome, just unbelievable. Like North, Dakota, I mean, people just like Grande Boo or F12 or whatever. Like people are coming in in droves from North Carolina, uh, Kentucky, like all Ohio, all these different places, um, and it just shows the the value that TJ and Brooke have brought on their life. So, um, yeah, overall it was great, but took off my shirt, uh, flew in a bus. <laughs> Those are kind of the highlights for you. And, uh, the rest shout is, out walking love. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. They're just really fun. Love them. So maybe going to see them in November. Oh yeah. We need to talk about that. We need to probably oh, no. plan that pretty soon. Yeah, I know. Catherine keeps getting on to me about that too. Okay. So I think, I think it's like 80%. You guys are in, I think that's huge. 80%. Wow. 80%. Sweet. Fun. You know what that makes you want to say? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, baby. Once again, we are sponsored by Good Ranchers. You guys, you guys know them. You love them. They're American meat delivered to your door. And guys, American-made real meat is under attack right Uh-oh. here. Yeah. What happened? Uh, the lab-grown meat has officially been approved by the FDA. Meat formed in a Petri dish is going to be delivered, and you're going to think that's regular chicken. It's not. It's mm. gross and nasty and unhealthy, not good for you. Um, if you want high-quality, real meat delivered right to your door, you can trust the people at Good Ranchers to deliver it to you. Uh, I'm talking steaks. I'm talking burgers. I'm talking ground beef. I'm talking chicken. Better than organic chicken. Better than organic <clears throat> chicken. That's what they call it. Uh, we are having people over tonight. Brittany Jones. Shout out, Brittany, if you know her. B. Jones. Uh, she's coming over for dinner tonight. You bet your bottom dollar we're having some C3 bros slathered on some Good Ranchers chicken. Who's Brittany Jones? Oh, she's a friend from uh, church. But I feel like she's... Oh! (laughs) (laughs) Okay, B. Jones. Her husband, too, or just B. Jones? Just B. Jones. Okay. Yep. Cool. Uh, Well, anyway, everything Good Ranchers sources is from local farms in America, so that's pretty cool. Remind me again, where's Brittany Jones from? Louisiana. America. America. (laughs) Uh, anyways, how about, Hey, let's give it up for that lab grown chicken, uh, approved by the FDA. Let's give it up for good ranchers. American meat delivered. (laughs) Oh, we got the theme song. (laughs) (laughs) Pressed a few buttons at once. Uh, time to get back here. (laughs) Anyway. Yeah. Good ranchers. Awesome. You guys know how much we love it. Uh, I was telling Trey about it. He was like, I think I might try some some of that like Wagyu uh, like beef or like some steak. And I was like, Brad makes himself a steak every day for lunch. He <laughs> loves it so much. It's amazing. There's nothing like it. It's like once you once you go Wagyu, you don't go back. Yeah. You don't go Bagu. You don't go Bagu. Nope. So use uh, our code. Yeah, GRKC, $30 off at goodranchers.com. It's 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 American meat delivered, guys. Yeah. Just do it. Go crazy. Yeah. Go you're get love it. it. Fun. Uh, should we bring in our special guest? <laughs> Yo! Come Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> give, give her a little introduction. Okay. Standing at five foot five, she started at shortstop her freshman year at Stratford Indian softball, Caitlin Angela Triplett. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> right! <laughs> Uh, we've got a microphone for you down below there, so you could pull that up on the table, and then, oh, Georgia. Oh, we got a pit bull loose. Georgia. <laughs> Brad's going to sing Georgia. I'll get the dog out. Georgia, you're biting my toes all day. Not that kind of not that kind of guy, Georgia, all right? Oh, welcome to the podcast. So, yeah, you got to, that's great. That's great. You got it. Caitlin is the... Uh, Roommate, oh, <laughs> Hattie the other day was talking about Miss Caitlin. I don't think she's met you yet. Uh-uh. Um, oh, at Jake and Rachel's wedding. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, so she was talking about you. Let me turn you up here. Can you talk for us real quick and see? Hello. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, she was talking about you because my kids love to spy on Jake and Rachel. <laughs> Literally today in like in bed, like we, we brought them into our bed and we're just hanging out. And Hattie goes, I'm going to go check on Rachel real quick. <laughs> <laughs> And Bo goes, yeah, I'm gonna go check on Rachel too. <laughs> and so, and so, yeah. Yesterday night, uh, they were talking, and Kat, and Hattie's like, yeah, Miss Caitlin's there. She lives there now too. Well, she doesn't really live there. She's kind of staying there. It's like a hotel, <laughs> kinda like a hotel for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, Jake and Rachel have a hotel. Yeah, the old triplet hotel. So, anyway, pet friendly hotel. Uh, yes, yes, yeah, good for you. 
Hard to find a pit bull friendly hotel. Pit friendly. Sure is. Pit, pit friendly. That's right. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, Kaylin lives here now for the next two and a half weeks, and we're going to do a little schmores with her today. Brad came up with the topic. You want to introduce it to everybody? Uh, yes, it is words that are hard to spell. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be great for an audio podcast, I tell you right now. <laughs> and what are they even voting on? Are they just voting on, I guess, uh, what they agree with is hard to spell? your vote. Rock the vote however you want. Rock the vote. How, yeah, how are you? Or do you want to give them some No, that's great. Direction? Up to them. Their vote. Uh, I have been really struggling at uh, Schmores lately, so. You haven't won in a while. I'm not, I'm not saying, like, I'm trying to make you feel bad and vote for me, guys, but <laughs> wouldn't hate it. Um, Caitlin's never won, I don't think. No, Caitlin hasn't no. won in a really long time. Yeah, she's a big loser, so. Uh, Caitlin, you want to start it off then? Sure. And then, Brad, would you like to go second or third and fourth? Second. Okay, I'll uh, go third and fourth. Great. <clears throat> All right, All right Kaylin. Kaylin. What's your first word? There was a B Real notification. Oh, do it. Do it now. It. Oh. Two minutes late. We can still do it, though. So if you Maybe do it right, right on time, you I'm get late. two of them? Yeah. Do you really do you care a lot about that? I missed it. No. Yeah. You're on there. Look at us. <laughs> We're Jake, B-reeling. All righty. Jake for a get while. Get closer to the microphone, too. Oh, okay. Jake for a while used to mm. always, like, in Rachel's B-reels, like, act like it's a video. <laughs> yeah, that was always still. really funny. You'd be like, what's, what's up, up, everybody? We're being real. <laughs> I feel like all of Rachel's B-reels are blurry. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm <laughs> always moving. <laughs> this is Rachel. We're yeah. being real. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. Okay. First, hmm. first pick. I mean, one, one, obvious one, one choice. Duh, right? You got it. I mean, we're all thinking it. Go ahead and say it. <laughs> all right. First one, restaurant. Ooh, <laughs> really? I had it second on my list. That one's high up there. Interesting. Very common. I just misspelled. rely on spell check for that stuff. Really? Have it figured out. The how to AU. Use it. I, get, I switch them. I get them confused. Yeah. Caitlin, can you spell your name for me real quick? K A T E. L Y N. I knew it. I had it. It should be on your list. I should have. <laughs> it's my sucks. I wrote Number it down one. right. That's a creative pick. Just like the name Caitlin or yeah. the name Katie, because it could be spelled so many different oh, ways. Yeah. Yeah. Catherine. Catherine's one that gets misspelled oh, yeah. all the time. I bet no one spells yours right on the first try. Probably not. Most people don't. Because I think, what do you or think? Or triplet. Triplet's tough too, because. They usually do two P's. One yeah, P. people really want to throw the second P in there. They know there's two letters. They just always pick P, though. Yeah. George is trying to What's barricade that? this door. <laughs> He was sleeping on the bed, and every time you would yell, he would just. Wake oh, really? Up and his ears would. Yeah, I walked he's in and worried what's going on. Georgia here. barked at me, and you're like, he never barks at anybody. I don't know what's going on. I've never heard Georgia bark in my he life. I was like, he barked. senses my fear. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> okay, Smell restaurant it. first pick. Restaurant's good. Uh, I, I like to use. Feel free to use this. Anyone out there listening? You uh, feel free to use it. Hey, you. Want to go hey, get you. dinner? Yeah. Oh. You hungry? Hey, hey, you. <laughs> Tacos? I could go on a whole rant about this. It's like a little accent rant, there. Restaurant. Restaurant. Hey, rant. Hey, you. Yeah, come oh, on. man. Hey. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey. I'm so tired of cooking all these good ranchers every single day because it's so delicious. I just need a little bit of rest. Hey, you. Do I need to keep ranting about this or can we go to Arby's? Huh? <laughs> that character wants to go to Arby's? Hey. Huh? <laughs> That's an Arby's guy. That, that is a stereotypical <laughs> Arby's guy right I don't there. know if it is. Curly fries, <laughs> Jamocha shake. Hey, you. What is that? What do you think he's doing? I don't know. Where's he going? I, I thought I it sounded know. a little Hispanic. But <laughs> oh, <then>. no. <laughs> hey. Hey, I say. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. But then, you know, he started to look like towards the end is, um, you know, in Waterboy, uh, his dad, like Bobby Boucher's dad, he's not in the whole movie. And he comes back at the very end and he's like, Bobby boy. And he's cross-eyed. That's kind of what you look like when you were doing that character. You Have look you like that? Bobby yeah. Boucher's dad. <laughs> okay. I hey, know. you, Bobby. We're going to be famous. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you look like. Okay. I've never seen Waterboy. Quite Fun the compliment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You look like that cross-eyed guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, you go a lot like him. My first pick is going to be onomatopoeia. Oh, uh, I'm going to write this one. Uh, you want to go ahead and spell it for me, Jake, to see if you got it. I think no, it's there's mat. Yeah, onomat. I remember that. So put me down for onomat. Most uh, spelling bees you're in, you can just kind of take yeah. it in, in chunks. I'll just do onomat. It has mat in the middle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you do take the rest. it. <laughs> onomat. A. A. P. Wait, what, what are you a- starting with? <laughs> No, no, no. Oh, it starts with O. Okay. Oh, oh. No, uh, let's put me down for Oh No Matt. I already put that down. That's why I went to the next part. Okay. Oh No Matt. What's the next oh. vowel? Oh, is it all O's? Oh No Matt. Oh, Pia. On a mata. On a mata. On a mata. There's an A. I don't think we know. Pia. 
I'm going to say A P E I A. Nope. It P-I-A. is. Excuse me? <laughs> what do you P-I-A say? P I A at the end? Why isn't it not giving me substitutions here? Um, I guess I can look at the actual. Nope. Ano uh, Matt O P E I A. Yep. Is everyone following along with that? So the way I remember that is. Oh, no. Oh, no. My Matt. Oh, Georgia peed all over it. <laughs> Does that help? <laughs> That's easy. All right. All right. My next one, this is a 1-1 one, one for me. I've talked about it before. The hardest word for me to spell, rhythm. Yep, on my list. I never know where. I know there's a Y. I know that something doesn't make sense. There's like a TH, you know, that runs into something. Mm-hmm. So by far the hardest word. How, really, do you, how do you remember it? I'll oh, tell you how I remember it. How do you remember it? I am a big cool runnings guy. Well, you got to keep a rhythm while you're doing it. R H I T H M. Now that is rhythm. It is all right. <laughs> That's how I remember it. Sorry, you're gonna say something about cool runnings. I was runnings. gonna say. I, I honestly do remember it by thinking it's just like rhyme, but rhythm. Feel is the it? rhythm. Feel the rhyme. Something something. It's bobside time. Something something. <laughs> bum, ba-na, bum, bop, sled, bop, sled, time, bum, ba-na, da, da. Like that. So that's rhythm. not bad actually. It starts off like rhyme. Yeah. Right. Yeah, write them. Write them. Write them. Write them. Remember that? Like that like, that guy, he's like some I don't know, some guy in Georgia back in the day, Rackham. Did you ever watch that? No. That was like back in like the Tourette's guy. Remember Tourette's guy? Oh, uh, Bob Saget. Yeah. Yeah, it was like when I was yeah sophomore, junior in high That's school. what you're doing instead of watching Waterboy. Rag him. Yeah, this, this, <laughs> this guy would just say rack him all, all the time. Rag him. Huh. Rag him. <laughs> Somebody out there knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, next pick is a word that I commonly get wrong, really rely on autocorrect. I'm going to go with itinerary. Ooh, I understand uh, kind of what it's supposed to look like, but the eyes and E's and, you know, I, I never take the time to fully spell it. Just get close. Just throw it in yeah. there. And- yeah, just kind of, uh, <laughs> you got it. Let's see. Caitlin, spell that one for us. I-T. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. You e- e- or an I. I-T-I-N-E-R-Y. Oh, missed that's, a syllable there. Yeah, that was itinerary. I- itinerary. Oh, <laughs> A-R-Y. There you go. <laughs> I think that's right. You yep. got it. Good job. You are ready to be married. Good job. Thank you. Okay. It's a long clap. <laughs> uh, my next one, I don't even really know. Ex- I kind of know what this word means, but not enough to spell it out very often. Acquiesce. I had that on my list. Oh. Did you? Yes. I've there's, never used that word. There's too many C's and Q's, and then <laughs> you got the S-C in together. No, thanks. Do you use it very often? I acquiesce on it every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put it this way. I acquiesce this morning. I acquiesce every once in a while. <laughs> it's like on the office, like, uh, word of the day, toilet paper is going immensely. Or whatever. I don't think it's just toilet paper or whatever. What is uh, run, run amok? That's when he, uh, Michael doesn't quite uh, know how to say it. Right. Kind of like that. Your imagination's running amok. <laughs> uh, acquiesce, though. Yeah, had it on my list. Good pick. Thanks, man. Thank you. How do you... Do you know how to spell that one? Do you? Oh, so that one... <laughs> Um, oh, I can't spell it. I can't spell it. I need <gasps> to acquire the letters. What does acquire start with, Brad? A. C. Q. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that should be on my list, too. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I think I would have known that, I think. I think I might have, if I, I don't know, I might have just done AQ on that. Acquire is my honorable mention, for sure. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Well, and then from there, just E-S. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I remember it. All right, can you get two in a row? All righty. All right. Number two. Fascisus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if you said that right. Yeah. I think I did. <laughs> Caitlin's doing Fushis. words that are hard to pronounce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we talked about Can't that. As well. <laughs> Caitlin's like, uh, Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> How many SHs are in there? I think you're saying she. Fascisus. <laughs> <laughs> This is great. Pasibus. <laughs> Placegis. P- Bocephus. Medivus. <laughs> Cremitus. Something like Take that. Take your pick. Yeah. Which Diabetes. One? Which one Diabetes. do you want? <laughs> Diabetes. Type 2 facetus. <laughs> I think it's fuss 
facetious. And you were saying facetious. I miss the SHs around. Facetious. Yes. Facetious. Facetious, yeah. Facetious. Facetious. Number two. (laughs) That is a really hard word to spell. I'll give you that. Because it's more, it's like a T-I-O-S, T-I-O-U-S or something at the end, Mm -hmm. right? There's no Mm -hmm. S-H. And it starts with an F. Yes. I thought it was P-H for a long time. Harrison well, thought it was a P. That's why I chose it. <laughs> Puffacetious. <Yeah. laughs> oh my gosh. Just an all time move by Harry. Okay. That's a good pick. Great Thank pick. Thank you. Are you, okay. are you being serious? Uh, I was just being serious. <laughs> <laughs> I, so, I was being so creases. The end I made it. <laughs> all right, my number three. I have a long list. Apparently, there's I can't wait. Just gonna be like, I, airplane. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> one gets just, me every time. <laughs> um, nauseous. Oh, good one. Oh, good. Good one. Anything when you know there's Lots vowels together. Yeah. 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 Lots of silent vowels. Nauseous. 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 How do you remember it? I remember. I'm a big Paul Walker Vin Diesel guy. Like together, <laughs> only together. Yeah. And so when he's like, I "Think we should hit the Nasca <laughs> on on uh, Too Fast, Too Furious." I don't even know if Vin Diesel's in that one. <laughs> and he's like, yes. I don't know. <laughs> but hey, whatever yes. helps you remember hey, it. Hey, but that's just how I remember it. Yes. Everyone, you know, everyone's on their own. Hey, you. <laughs> Nas? Es? Ese? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, my next pick, let's see. I'm going to go. This is, this is a little bit of a Jake Triplett pick. Because it's like a little bit outside the box. Yeah, fun. Um, which she doesn't throw away very often. Um, I'm going to put, when you're trying to abbreviate street on your phone, I am I live on a street. Oh, what is- and I always say blank street, S-T. And, and it, it always, at? always, always. <laughs> or St. Louis even. If you're from St. Louis, I, I feel for you. At Louis. Yes, <laughs> at Louis. Every time. It's like, you got it. That's a common thing. So literally, I tried to put it in my notes as ST on your phone, and my notes right now say at on your phone, because even even my computer tries to correct it for me. I might potentially have a have a hack for you here. Have you noticed any time that like you make someone a contact in your phone? Yeah. It now now your phone knows that as a word. Yeah, but dude. I got a lot of issues with iPhones these days. <laughs> okay, go, go crazy. Go, well, off. go ahead and I think you're just saying like, so then it would know like to do it that way. Just name someone, and put my last name in there as Jake Street. And okay. from now on, ST will be a word. But nowadays, they're not even capitalizing it unless you're like tagging that person. Have you noticed that? Like I'll say Jake and it'll make you like put like tag Jake Triplet in the thing or else it'll just say, oh, like lowercase J-A-K-E. Mm. Kills me. You know, my big beef Anytime you want to pluralize a day of the week, it always puts an apostrophe S for also, you. Which also, rarely ridiculous. do you need an apostrophe S for Mondays. Yes. Mondays got to work great. Fine. That's fine. But normally it's like, yeah, I'm free on I'm Mondays. free on Mondays, yeah. You don't need the apostrophe. I teach Sculpt on Mondays. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, go to, I go to this awesome Sculpt class on Mondays. So, uh, um, what about, okay, are you guys AirPod users uh-huh. big time? Yeah. You, guys, you guys upper middle class? Um <laughs> Have you noticed like when you get a text these days, Siri just like freaked out. I don't know what's going on. They don't know contractions. Have you noticed this? Oh, I have that mm. turned off. I don't want notifications in my ear. Okay. You? you, you sh- I you know? haven't noticed that. <laughs> like it's like, <laughs> like it doesn't know can't. It's like can T, I oh, can T wow. come. I'm like, what? <laughs> we'll be there in a minute. <laughs> I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> yeah, no, genuinely. Yeah, it's like, I didn't know, I didn't T notice that. Shouldn't T. I'm like, what happened to the American language? <laughs> Steve Jobs dies and everything goes down the crapper. <laughs> I don't know. Someone was telling me they have, uh, when you have AirPods in for be real notifications, it says be real weird. It's like, it's oh, time really? to be real or something <laughs> oh, like that. Yeah. Since it's one word, it just. Yeah, I think it's, you know, yeah. you're like saying Baran or something. There was a. Be real. I think maybe if you do Y-A-A or maybe just Y-A. I remember one time specifically Gunner texted me and said, can't wait to squeeze ya. And I remember in my headphones, it was like, can't wait to squeeze ya. <laughs> I was like, what in the world did he text me? <laughs> so try it out. I don't know how many A's, but I don't. I can't imagine it being more than one A. I can just see Gunner say, can't wait to squeeze ya. It was like this goat just took over the phone. So anyway, all those things. I like, I like that hack, but I don't know if, it's working anymore on this iOS. I, I know from personal experience, when I met someone, it's like, okay, I don't know Dave's last name, but I met him playing pickleball. He's in my phone now. It's Dave Pickleball. So now every time I spell that word, it capitalizes pickleball yes. for me. Yeah. Okay. I'll try it. 
I'll try it. Anyway. Okay. Is it back to me? My last yes. two? Yes. yes. Okay, I'm going to go with conscientious. Conscientious. There's a T in there. You don't think so. You think it's going to be all SCs. Mm-hmm. Because conscious. Because conscious. Yeah. Or conscience, which is crazy that those are even two different words. Yeah. Because they mean kind of similar things. Your now that we're talking about conscious and conscious, I don't know what's the difference. Right. Yeah. I got out of the spelling bee in second grade on the word conscious. Wow. <laughs> Still remember. Haunting yeah. this day. Yeah. Yep. Dang. I remember I missed incapable. It's kind of ironic. And then torrential. I remember asking dad, I was like, how do you spell the word? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> how fast was a Stratford spelling bee? Like you got <laughs> six people in it or something? <laughs> I feel like I got second place every year if that tells you how. Uh, oh, nice. <laughs> Good job. How small the spelling bee actually was. <laughs> yeah, Fashisis over here <laughs> yeah. got second. Fashimis. <laughs> Shadlesis. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, and then my last pick, I'll go with uh, liaison. Ooh, okay. A a lot, you, yeah, you do not like a lot of vowels in there. The vowels, yeah, I know they're Me in neither. there. It was L I A I A S O N. Nope. That would be Hawaiian. That's too many L-I-A-I-S-O-N. There you go. Yep. Liaison. Yeah, yeah, I know. I would love to hear Siri try to read me a text from somebody giving me directions in Hawaii. Yeah. I mean, with all those apostrophes. All right. Uh, my last one is going to be... Don't make fun of me for this because I'm a little bit Embarrassed. The word is embarrassed. Mm. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, embarrassed. I, I the R's I think, and the S's. I think it's just the R's. Yeah. No, I know. I know. It's two S's. Two I think you, you double up on both. Yes, you do. And I think I only give one R. I only give. I don't give it the respect it deserves. <laughs> right. So <laughs> you got to really embarrass yourself. Because when you're embarrassed, so it feels like a. It. <laughs> Oh, here's an easy that's one. A, here's an easy so way. Just, just, just say it weird. Embarrass. <laughs> just put two R's in. <laughs> yeah. When you say it. Embarrass. <laughs> say the second R. Embarrass. Yeah. Embar. Embarrassment. Em- embarrass. Yeah. <laughs> easy. Nope. Embar- when you're embarrassed, it, it's like a, it feels like a long time you're embarrassed. Boy, does it. And you're always like, are you seriously going to do are, this are, again? are you serious? You start again? stuttering? Yeah. <laughs> are, are you kidding me? Are, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a seal. Anyway. All right, Kaylin, last pick. Finish it off for us. Oh, we do four? Yep. Oh. You ever seen Mount Rushmore? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were only doing three. Okay, I already said nauseous. Um... <laughs> Kaylin's like, I'd like to say nauseous again. That was really hard. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> Chauffeur. Oh, oh, good pick. Chauffeur. Chauffeur. I'm going to say C H A U. A-U. 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 Drive me around. Here with the car. <laughs> uh, I got to get to the, the big Aussies. event. <laughs> I'm going to take away the A-U. C-H-A-F-F-E-U-R. Ch- A-U Chaffier. Right. Chaffier. No, yeah. C-H-A-U-F-F-E-R. Nope. What? Yes. Huh? Yeah. I was close. E-U-R. Okay, I had it. E-U-R? That's what my... When I yeah. typed it in, that's what it came up. It is AU and it's EU. Yeah. AU. Well, when I EU. When I, EU. Sit, when I put the other one in with just ER, it it seemed really? all right. I don't know. It, <laughs> it did have a blue. Right or did it had, not check say that? It, it seemed pretty close. <laughs> it had a blue line. What does that mean? Mine also has a blue line. A thin blue line. I thought that was like Honor more of like cops. grammar punctuation. Of <laughs> it was like, hey, this is technically this a is word, wrong. but I don't think it's the word you want. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Yeah. I'm going to do a full sentence. The chauffeur drove me around. No blue line. Just needed a full sentence. With E-R? Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, wait, no, E-U-R. 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 Put it with E-R and see what happens. Is it one of those, like, uh, both of them work? No, it's red now. I will. There's a word, buses. You can spell that two different ways. With uh, one S yes. in the middle or two S's in the middle. Or the word canceled. Yes, that can have canceled. one L or two. Judgment. Can have mm-hmm. an E, E-M-E-N-T. Yeah, it can. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. Caleb yeah, I can. Caleb on the same page, and then Brad comes in. Judgment. Judgment. J U D G M E N T or J U D G E M E N T. I know it. Really? Like Judgment without an E does second not. Second conversation with yourself. Also, guys. Yeah, you yeah, 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 can, yeah, can, no E. E-M-T. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Chauffeur with the, just an E R is how saying. you spell it in French. All right. Well, well that's how you spell heat in French. 
<laughs> Dang it. Let the record show that Brad touched that <laughs> one for himself. <laughs> Did it to myself there. All right, we got any, uh, well, I'll, I'll uh, ca- summarize them real quick. Caitlin said, these are hardest words to spell. Restaurant, facetious, nauseous, <laughs> facetious, and chauffeur. Uh, Brad's are onomatopoeia, acquiesce, ST for street on my phone, embarrass. <laughs> Jake's are rhythm, itinerary, conscientious, liaison. Uh, we got some honorable Minch. Yes. Also, I looked it up, Brad. You are right. If anything, judgment without any is more correct in the United States, it says. Huh, Caitlin, what do you have to say? <laughs> You're about to be married, so you need to learn how to submit to a man. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well start with Brad. Might as well start now, huh? <laughs> my oh, honorable my mentions. Uh, a joke. Millennial. Anything like that. Millennium, millennial. I, I screw that one up too because is there two, are there two ends or not? There are. Or nah. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Okay. Anything like that where there could be multiple letters like embarrassed or um, necessary. If I like, have necessary down, I have beginning yeah. down because you start at the beginning easy. One mm-hmm. G, two ends. Um, anyway, emasculate. I kind of said that to Brad yeah. as like, a, that, one's, that one used to be tricky, but you know, once you get the E, you could figure it out. And Brad goes, there's an E? I thought it started with an I. You would think so. But just like anything else, like, oh, you're mobile. Now I'm immobile. You know, you yeah. always put an I in front of it. Right. But emasculate for some reason. Um, I'd ac- acquiesce. I guess that was all my honorable mentions. Millennial emasculate. Two that I s- don't struggle with, but I see a lot of other people. Definitely. They yes. always say defiantly. Or no, I always see definitely. That one too. Definitely. 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 <laughs> um, and... I obviously, you know, Ellis Cousin Creations, people ask about dining tables a lot. Dining. Oh, they say dining? Dinning. dinning all the time. All the Silly. time. Uh, this was more of a grammar thing, but people from the smaller towns in life <laughs> like to say, I seen. In- oh, I, I, seen I seen your posts on Instagram. And I'm like, you have seen. You saw. <laughs> of course I, I seen. see saw. Yeah. <laughs> People um, also like to really uh, mess up loose. They always spell it loose. Loose. Yeah. See that all the time yeah. online. Uh, presence is one. Like presence, like the presence of mind. That one's a struggle for me. Uh, I get the S and the C max, max up. Um, <laughs> longitude back in the day. <laughs> I actually put an M in the front of it for a spelling bee. Have I told you that? <laughs> no. Yeah. I was like. In the front? I was at the. <laughs> yes. I, I froze, Caitlin. It wasn't like I d- thought there was an M. <laughs> It was like uh, there was two people left in the spelling bee, and they're like, "All right, Brad, your word's longitude." And I go, "Longitude, M." <laughs> I just froze. It's like on Billy Madison. <laughs> yeah. Are, are you are going you going to the mall? The mall? <laughs> <laughs> um, sacrilegious is another one I think is hard. Okay. Yeah. Because so I think it's sac religion, and it's sacrilegious. Yeah. Uh, zucchini. Okay. And fuchsia. Oh, oh that's a good one. run yeah. fuchsia by me real quick. <laughs> run that bad boy right over here. F U H S. No way. F U H no S C H I A, brother. That one's it's almost not, too crazy. It's not F U H. There's <laughs> no. I've never seen a word start with F U H. Wait, it does have <laughs> there's no it way. It does have a red line under it. <laughs> there's no <laughs> oh, way. No. You're literally uh, just typing in exactly what you think it sounds like insane. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yeah, it's F U C H. That's still really, really tricky. <laughs> I was like, yeah, there's no way it's F U H. Bro, it's crazy how hard this is to spell. <laughs> M F. <laughs> Golly. You're right. <laughs> All right. Fuchsia is a really good honorable mention, though. Thank you. That's a wild word. Do you have any, Caitlin? Um, accessory. <laughs> okay. The C's and the S's. Yeah. Or are there two R's? There's not. Oh, yeah. Um,. Sorry, there's not. Did did you say <laughs> did you say necessary? Yeah, a little attention. bit. Yeah. Um it's tricky. Vacuum. Oh, that's a good one. I've never struggled. Yeah, I have oh, trouble with that one. Just being you. honest. Yeah. How do you never spell? never went through a phase. V A C U M. One C two U. V A H C U U M. Vacuum. <laughs> one C two U's. Okay. How do you remember that? I say C U and you later. <laughs> You're talking to the trip, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Last one, diarrhea. Oh. Is that, that a little weird? <laughs> Last one, <laughs> diaphysia. <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> the R's, the H. Yeah. Oh. That's it. Do you remember um, Darby, B, uh, what's her last name? Darby, Darby Madden B. from oh, yes. 
Camp. Uh-huh. So her middle name is Ray, spelled R H E A. And so her Instagram name was Darby Ray, but it looked like diarrhea. Yeah. Darby Ray. Yeah, look at Darby Ray. <laughs> we were like, Darby, you got to change this. <laughs> she had a lot of nicknames because also, I mean, Dar- Slumdog, Slumdog Millionaire. That was oh, a yeah. fun one. Uh, Kentucky Darby. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Darby Ray was great, though. <laughs> yeah, Darby is a cool name. Rachel and I were talking kid names recently. Why? You guys talked kid names? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of fun. It's for fun. Yeah. Really? I don't remember ever having that conversation. Grow up, Brad. <laughs> Just be honest, you know? <laughs> what do you guys got? You want to run any by me? Um, everyone tells... Well, this is kind of a funny thing. It'd be funny to hear Rachel speak on this. She's always getting told she looks like something. And sometimes... <laughs> something. something. Yeah. I, well, sometimes it's like... Vacuum. Weird. <laughs> yeah, not quite. Object. Just inanimate <laughs> objects. But it's usually like cartoon characters with like... Like, not even like the good looking. It's never like... <laughs> You know, you look like Moana <laughs> look like or Elsa. The sloth from Ice Age. Honestly, yes. Oh, wait, really? She's heard that once <laughs> before. She heard that once. Don't Why say it. Don't, if you say think that, that don't anybody. say it out loud. Yeah. <laughs> She's always. But she getting, doesn't. Co- yeah, compared to just like weird creatures that might have like big features or whatever, like big eyes or whatever. <laughs> and so I don't know if that's crazy comedy, but it, it's enough to where Rachel's like, man, there's one that I want to be. I want to be, you know, Violet from The Incredibles, not you know, uh, Edna Mode or something like that. You know, <laughs> like I want to be the good one. Yeah. From the show. But uh, she also gets all these um, just older actresses. She's always getting. We got it in the Gene Schwartz. Oh yeah. Comments yesterday. Uh, Betty Davis, I think is her name. Betty Davis eyes. Yeah, there's a song I like about that it. Song. A song about how big her eyes are. So she's always oh. getting that one. Uh, she's always getting Goldie Hawn. Anyway, this is a big sidebar. I'm saying all this. Goldie. We like the name Goldie. Goldie. She does look a lot like young Goldie Hawn. I like that. Goldie's and he's cool. Two. Two light-haired people probably going to have a nice... There's a chance. Yeah. Yeah, we can get a pretty golden-looking yeah. yeah. boy or girl. Golden retriever. <laughs> pretty yeah. golden. Yeah. We, you know what we really like? Our, our inspo is TJ and Brooke's kids' names. We love the vibe of their kids' names. Yeah, they're very themed. That, that's like their style, I feel like. I think that's Rachel and I's style, too. June, Sunny, and Daisy. Just like very happy <sighs> yeah. names. Yeah. I love those. Yeah. Yeah. I really like Sunny. Yeah. Do they spell it S-U-N? Uh-huh. Put it on the list. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I think I'm... Very attracted to names that end in Y or IE. Interesting that you called it attracted. That's funny <laughs> <laughs> to me. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I get, I get like hot all from kids or IE. I love kids that end in Y. <laughs> yeah. You know what revs my engine? <laughs> <laughs> little boys and little girls <laughs> who end in IE. Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny. Uh, okay, I was like, yeah, I don't work at a school anymore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Too many rosies and daisies and... <laughs> I like Rosie. Thank you. Well, don't stay around. Yeah, really. Hattie. <laughs> Hattie yeah, and Rosie. You, yeah. <laughs> no, I love the name Ruby. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ruby's nice good. Nice and old. But you go I.E. Funny. on Ruby? Why? Yeah, okay. Good. I good. like Molly, Lucy. Yeah, Catherine does too. She I think likes... those are in the realm of the Ellis's brand. Mm-hmm. Kind of the we're we're much more classic. Lies. Yeah. We do like those. And I feel like Gunner's going to have just a bunch of like hilariously like cool new new things oh like yeah Knox <laughs> and or just Nos <laughs> yeah he really wants to name <laughs> you know like he loves his last name is Duckworth he really wanted to name their kid Devante yeah or Deuce a boy. he or likes Deuce, Deuce too Deuce Duckworth Deuce like, he Duckworth just, is he cool. loves the alliteration Devante Duckworth <laughs> named their baby girl Delaney which is great so I would love for them to have a blonde haired blue eyed kid <laughs> Devante <laughs> Devante oh where were you where were you born originally <laughs> were you adopted yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. And Gunner's kid would pull it off too, you know? Yeah, so. probably could. Anyway, either way, that's been chores and baby names. How's yep. uh, wedding stuff going? Good. Obviously, you're kind of there now. Yeah. We got two weeks. Ready for it to be here. Yeah. Yeah, 17 days. Wow. I'm what, excited. Uh, is, is there anything you, you haven't, like, do you have anything on the list? I feel like Jake had a few things, you know, last couple of weeks to do. Our yeah. seating chart. Oh. Yeah. We're kind of excited about it. We're waiting. I liked it. Yeah, it's like a little puzzle. Yeah, it's fun. Um, we're just gonna like print it out somewhere on, at, on what it, Max versus or something, what, but like uh, rather, rather than, than like what? I don't know. Send everyone a Google Doc. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sending everyone on geocaching around the <laughs> venue. Find your seat. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna print it just like the day before because cool. everyone that's ever had a wedding has said somebody's gonna tell you like two days before that they can or can't go. So like, don't print your seating chart yet. Oh, okay. But. Yeah, we're excited to do that. Cool. Yeah, that's fun great. Fun puzzle. That's really it. Yeah. I thought the seating chart was fun. I also didn't have nearly as many people at the wedding as Rachel did. You know, we didn't mm-hmm. have a ton of like family or any interesting dynamics. It was just like Casey Cornelius. Oh, what yeah, seat should he fun, be at? Like, like ooh, my one friend from high school. With? It's like, I'll put him at the Canuck table. Like they're, they're yeah. so fun. And then right. like Josh Mayer, Trey, who do they vibe with? Or, you know, yeah. right. And then you just end up pairing people for like the weirdest reasons. Like, well, they 
they each, I know they each played baseball growing up and they have kids now. So they could talk about that. <laughs> yeah. you know? like, not a ton in common, but. <laughs> and you don't tell them that those things are the things in common. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like they both love Doritos, nacho cheese. <laughs> <laughs> you should put, yeah, for seating charts from now on, maybe I should. No, I'm not gonna do this. Too much work. Be like, like beside every name, some facts. Loves or, Doritos. Or just have like baseball. a name for like you guys are the Doritos table, and everyone's yeah. like, "Why are you Doritos?" <laughs> Figure it I out. Mean, I, I like <laughs> I like Cool Ranch Doritos. Like, dude, me too. Oh, okay. And then you got something there. Yeah, you yeah. always give them conversation topics. Yeah. Like, here's why I chose you at table 17. Um, bring up fuchsia. Or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Both like that color. How? Uh, yeah. As as a obviously as the bride, it's so much more planning. How's 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 Mama Triplet been? How's how's I'm sure your dad's a little stressed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because it's just she's much more like organized. Are you yes. organized too, or is that your personality? Yeah, a little. She's definitely more than me. <laughs> okay, yeah. She has she's doing all of the flower arrangements, all of our centerpieces, the bridesmaids yeah, bouquets. Yeah. Like it's all fake flowers for that, and mm-hmm. she has put together everything. Wow. Her basement is like. The ping pong table, the pool table is just filled. It's like with, a floral shop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my fun. dad's like she spends like. 10 hours a day down there. Wow. That's <laughs> so she's amazing. done with all that, but we can't get into the venue till 11. So, okay. Oh, the day is, of? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, so your house might look out. like a floral shop. <laughs> yeah. Um, she's a little worried about that, but I told my mom, you know, like every, like the photographer, all of our other vendors, I tell them our yeah. timeline and they're like, okay, great. Like it's normal okay. for a downtown wedding to get in at. Okay. Like Emily Duckworth said they got in at noon. Okay. She's gotcha. Like, it was fine. And it was fine. Everything worked out. Uh, but yes, my mom's very organized. She has every table. We'll have 19 tables and every table has a huge box with every Love thing it. that we'll oh, go that's into. Nice. So I that told gets her, me going. Tra- I'm attracted to that. <laughs> 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 I am attracted. I'm attracted to that organization as well. <laughs> yeah, it'll uh, be great. Well, if, I'm it, not worried about it. If you need any help, any any hands on deck, Trish okay. or Caitlin, let me know. All right, thanks. Bo is ready. Bo is ready. Bo is carrying one of those boxes. <laughs> oh God, done. <laughs> I Love can't it. wait for uh, Uncle John, Coach. Got to be doing the wedding. Mm-hmm. Can't wait yeah, for how that goes. Yeah, sent me the script yesterday. It sounds good. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's going to do great. a great job. Dearly beloved. He's practiced it a thousand times. Yeah. He's so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear about, uh, maybe, I think we talked about it on the podcast, but uh, how Uncle John, we thought he looked like a blind guy. Did you hear <laughs> about that? <laughs> like Gunnar brought that up again recently it's and just started of, dying laughing again. Hardest I've ever seen Gunnar laugh. We're all in the pool hanging out and Uncle John comes out like c- kind of carrying his shoes weird, like kind of up in his armpit and like maybe some shorts or something. And he's got really big black sunglasses on <laughs> and just kind of looking up a little bit. I mean, just everything about it was just perfect. And he's and, he's got like some physical, like he's getting older. And so I think he kind of walks a little funny. <laughs> <laughs> and so I think you did you say it? Yeah. yeah, you're like, you look like a blind guy. And Gunner laughed harder than I've ever seen him laugh before. Because he kept oh. like I say that, but then he continues to walk. It continues to really look like a blind guy for <laughs> like a while. Like not even looking down. Right. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Act, like <laughs> kind of feeling his way to the Nothing seat. to look at. <laughs> yeah, he was great. But oh. anyway, we'll you great. can get on with All whatever right. you need to do the rest of the Goodbye. day. Thanks for joining. Yeah. All right, see ya. All right, bye. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Positions. <laughs> Got a sculpt. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Fun. Oh, keep it there. It's fine. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. You got enough room? Yeah. <laughs> that little squeak. <laughs> man, that tickled my lips. All, All right. right. Man, it's hot in here. Yeah, you feeling it? Yeah, warm. Also, well, let's do a, a quick um, quick shout out real quick, and then we'll talk about why I'm wearing this thick old shirt. Okay. Uh, Main Street Roasters is back. Hey, yo, hey, yo. They're back. Yeah, they are, baby. They're still back. <laughs> Main Street Roasters, you guys know them. You guys love them. We love them, too. Uh, contacted Haley and said, hey, we're, we're kind of up on our contract. Do you want to keep going? And they said, yeah, we want to keep going. We want to do one every single episode. And I said, <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out to Main Street Roasters, the best coffee in the world. I'll Get say the coffee. It. I'll say it. I'll say best smelling. I'll say best tasting. Uh-huh. I'll say best small town Indiana coffee shop to go to. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out to Main Street Roasters. Check them out. MainStreetRoasters.com. Promo code GRKC. 10% off. All the good things. Yeah, go crazy. If, you, if you're if you all stocked up on coffee, get yourself a mug. 
There's nothing that pleases me more than people posting about the brands that we sponsor on here and say, it really is that good. And people are posting on Facebook group, all the different flavors, flavors I didn't even know they had. Yeah. There's so many good ones out there. Check them out. Mainstreetroasters.com. You will not be disappointed. It's yeah. The Mainstreetroasters.com is the URL, but if you're typing this in your phone, just make sure you really spell out street because yes. you know, it might auto correct to at either way. URLs are picky. Yes. Spell out street. That's a good point, Jacob. <laughs> or just save Main Street Roasters as one of your friend's names in your phone. Smart. <laughs> and then it'll always autocorrect. <laughs> and then every time you're trying to send directions to Main Street, it just autocorrects to MainStreetRoasters.com. <laughs> Got a fun. Anyway, shout out to them, MainStreetRoasters.com, promo code GRKC. We love them. Get them. Uh, okay, so yeah, we got some some fun things to talk about. We got a Mahomes bobblehead here. I'm wearing the Mahomes t-shirt. Mm-hmm. Wedding gift from Gunner. And uh, so basically, Swag. about a week ago, I got a text from a guy uh, from his name was Jackson. Shout out Jackson. Shout out Jackson, man. Big J. A- and he's like, "Hey, uh, I- I'm with the Chiefs." So it's like, "Oh, this is Jackson Mahomes." Right. Turns out not. Not. It's uh, way better. Jackson Delay yeah. works in marketing, and he was just like, "Hey, we're doing a a, a private screening of quarterback." that's coming out on Netflix, which any Chiefs fan, probably most football fans know about this coming out. If you don't know, basically, Netflix had a lot of success kind of uh, with these new sports documentary series. They did Drive to Survive, brought a lot of business, a lot of intrigue to the sport of F1 uh, racing. Then they did tennis. Then they did Full Swing, the golf documentary. That was a success. And so we didn't know this at the time, but all last season, Netflix documentarians were following around Patrick Mahomes and it happened to be the year he won MVP, the year he won a Super Bowl. And it is just like behind the scenes access. Like we've never seen before. Even Chiefs fans are like, we soak up any kind of Patrick Mahomes content we can get. And we've never seen him like this. Like we're in his home. We're like seeing what they do on the weekends. We're seeing how he treats his dogs, you know, like it is awesome. And also following him around the season he won MVP. Oh yeah. And so Chiefs fans especially are, have just been so fired up about this. The trailer came out a month ago Everyone was texting about it, talking about it. Oh, it looks yeah. so cool. Scott was so pumped. I remember, yeah, in the group chat, we were all just like, oh my gosh, this is incredible. It was amazing. And the fact that we just didn't know about it. Yeah. Like it was just like a what secret. A surprise. I was like, wait, he's going to be in the, like the doc, like a really legit documentary. Get, like 10 episodes of Mahomes. <gasps> Hot dog. Hot so, dog. It was already the coolest thing. So fun to like drop in the middle of the summer when you're really needing some football. And then, yeah, Jackson texted us like, hey, uh, before it comes out, we're doing a private screening at the Chiefs practice f- facility. If you and a f- uh, guest want to come, uh, we'd <laughs> love said, to have you. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> and so I was like, uh, texted Brad. I knew he was getting back from Pennsylvania sometime Monday. And I was just like, please tell me you'll be free Monday night. He's like, yeah, I can make it work. What's up? And I said, do you, do you trust me enough to surprise you? <laughs> and I, at first, I don't know if I did. At first, I was like, ah. Uh, and then I was like, yes, yes, I do. Let's do it. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, we, the, Monday night was the night or I was getting home Monday from Pennsylvania from my bus slash flight. And yeah, I, long story short, my flight got canceled. I had to reschedule and everything. And so I had to t- have, have Jake tell me the night before, like, okay, th- I'm, this is going to cost me some money to get home. Is it worth it? What's, what's going on here? He told me, and I thought about it for like 15 minutes. So I was like, Heck yeah, it's worth it. <laughs> I was we trying my best to tell Brad if it was worth it without telling him at first. Right. You know, I was like, I, it's like a, it's not like dinner with Patrick Mahomes. It's not something crazy intimate or, you know. Yeah. But it's pretty cool, I think. Yeah. I, just, I was like, it's like an eight out of 10. Mm-hmm. I think it's worth flying back for. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't know. And then eventually TJ gets on the phone. He's like, Jake, I think it's time you just tell us. <laughs> we need to make an educated decision. In hindsight, I was very us. appreciative that TJ did that. Because I, I don't know if the eight out of 10, like, because you're like, you won't, You'll be sad that you didn't go, but you won't. It won't be like the end of the world if you didn't go. And I yeah. was like, "Well, in that case, maybe I should just stay." But and then you told me, and I was like, "No, I gotta go to that. That's I gotta, cool. I gotta make that happen." So um, Brad woke up at two a.m. Central Time, three a.m. Eastern Time. Drove with TJ to Baltimore. Yeah. Took two flights to get here. TJ is the real hero of the day. Yeah, like he's like, "Yeah, I'll, I'll drive you to Baltimore, no problem. It's an hour and a half." I'm like, "Are you sure?" That gum. Yeah, and it was worth it. It was awesome. Yeah, it was just so cool. I mean, we pull up to this practice facility. It looks so sweet. You know, you got to say your name to even get in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, I was originally thinking like we would drive together, and but then you were already up north with Trey, and so I came and like you know my truck is the crappiest tr- oh. truck you can ever imagine. Like, <laughs> like it's not like the worst truck like model wise, but out of those models of the O three <clears throat> Chevys, which is already twenty years old truck, I mean it's rusted out. Like things are falling off. Like. 
the hood the, spray painted. Like this guy's like, there's no, I, I pulled up and this guy's probably like, there's no way this He's guy's on the spot. list. Yeah. Yeah. But I was like, yeah, Jake triplets plus one, Jet Brad Ellis here. He's like, all right, go on in. It's so, awesome. Yeah. We get in there and, uh, well, first of all, I, so I, before Brad knew, I was coordinating with Catherine. Like, is that okay for the day Brad gets back? Can right. he go leave for three hours potentially? Mm-hmm. And also the email I got said, uh, upscale chief's attire. Yes. So I was talking to Catherine, like, uh, can you be in charge of dressing Brad? <laughs> I don't even know how to dress myself for this, but like, let's, you know, can you, either way. So we show up, upscale chief's attire, we look good. Yeah. We'll post some pictures. Uh-huh. And anyway... Yeah, we, we get like a little lanyard, some cool stuff. We take some photos. Mm-hmm. And Casey up, Wolf was there. The cheerleaders. We got a high five. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we walk up this like really cool and long staircase and the cheerleaders are there just like <laughs> doing the uh, the palms. And it's yeah. such a, it's a long walk and it's only Brad and I <laughs> and they're not saying anything, just smiling and doing that. And, and we got there decently, like it was like 5.30 gates open. I think we got there at 5.40. And so there was like not a whole lot of people there yet. And so it those pom poms are loud. <laughs> And they're not saying anything. They're just doing it as we're walking up. And you just go, you're like, you don't have to do that. You guys really don't have to do that. (laughs) We can just... I mean, 20 plus steps at least, right? Yeah. And then that wasn't enough to quite like fill the time, that like (laughs) joke and whatever laughter. So then I kind of just say to the sky... You guys know Morgan Noonan. We're friends with her. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, yeah, we know her. Like, oh, yeah, okay, Morgan. fun. <laughs> oh, okay, we're through. Man, right, that yeah. was sucked. <laughs> Which yeah. uh, we talked to other Chiefs people later, and they were like, that's probably good. You guys, like, good for you guys wanting to spend less time with the cheerleaders. Because a lot of people want to spend a little too much time with the cheerleaders. Sure, yeah. And we're like, no, that, that was, I don't know. Eyes on the velvet stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I am attracted to these stairs. <laughs> yeah, but exactly. that was fun. We get in there, and yeah, we just start, um, just, just... You know, knocking, not knocking anything, knock, sorry. Um, knocking bows. Ru- rubbing elbows. <laughs> Sometimes I get phrases like that mixed up. Knocking bows. <laughs> yeah, rubbing elbows with the KC Elite. That's a funny character piece. Just, yeah, you get those mixed up. <laughs> so me and Trent Green were uh, knocking boots last <laughs> week. <laughs> Dude, for the longest time, I used to think that hot and bothered meant that you were just warm and angry, like, like <laughs> aggravated. And literally so like, hot, literally I am, bothered. I am hot and bothered right now. Yeah, the uh, traffic. <laughs> My, my older sister finally was like, hey, that's not what you think it means. My mom is hot and bothering me right now. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> exactly. Shout so yeah, out your sister. We were knocking boots. So we were knocking boots with people. And yeah, mm-hmm. I got to meet some fun folks. And uh, yeah, it was just fun. I'm trying, I didn't write anything down because I was just in the moment, I feel like. But I'm trying to remember some of the fun parts. They uh, unlimited fruit and drink, but it wasn't like a dinner plate. Did you it, say food? Food and drink. I thought you said fruit. Sorry. Food and drink. But it wasn't like a plate, like a fillet of salmon. It was like, yeah, Mm -hmm. the smallest fork I've ever seen in this little like disposable (laughs) cup. And man, I went back. I told Rachel, I was like, I had a thousand of those. And I was like, (laughs) okay, I didn't actually have a thousand, but I guarantee you I had more than anyone else there. How many do you think you ate? I bet I had like seven. Yeah. I went back a lot. And you were so funny because you were like, I wish this fork was bigger. Like, it's just like, <laughs> like Jake and Brad are just like fish out of water at this place. Yeah, like, like, can I just get a normal fork? Yes. Like, I don't even know if they really think you should be eating the the rice underneath. Like, I don't even know if that wasn't their intention. <laughs> but you're I like, ate it all. You're like, gosh, it's hard to scoop out this rice. I'd say my first five uh, little mini bowls, I still tried to use the fork to eat the rice. And I don't know if you caught the last two. I just started shoveling it. <laughs> I was just shoveling rice in my... You're like, <laughs> tapping it out. <laughs> Hold on. You work in... Oh, wow. VP of marketing. Hold oh, on. Cool, cool. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, we did a Chiefs interview video at the parade. It was it was look awesome. up jean shorts. Well, it's, it's called pretending to be the local news, but... Yep. Oh, it's, it's yeah. Honestly, a lot of people like it. Yeah, it's just it's just all about being bold, you know, in public. So, <laughs> oh man, dude. Speaking of that video, I followed up with Jackson yesterday and texted him, which he's in my phone as Jackson Chiefs, which is kind of fun. <laughs> but just like, dude, thank you so much again mm-hmm. uh, for like inviting us. We had so much fun. Also, I don't know if you ever saw this video we made at the Chiefs parade, but I said if you ever need some high energy, high energy guys to make some Chiefs. Fun, some fun, oh, facetious content, <laughs> Chiefs content, then we'd love to be considered. Yeah. And he said, for sure. Uh, thanks for passing this along. Looks like you guys had a good time with it. I'll share it with the team and we'll definitely keep you in mind in the future. I'm sure that doesn't mean the marketing team. I'm sure that means like <laughs> I'll get Chiefs this in Kelsey's team. hands yeah. ASAP. Andy Reid will be watching this first thing in the morning. So That's so nice he of definitely, Jackson to show that to Pat. Pat. Oh, Pat. Kales. Pat. You know, just trying to be a family man. Go trade. <laughs> uh, so that was fun. And yeah, I guess speak it on the same token of like, yeah, we'd love to do anything. We were kind of telling them like, 
you know. Even when I got the text from Jackson, I mean, I should go up and see what I said to him. Because I was like, dude, you're, I can't believe you're inviting me to this. I'm not even going to try to play it cool. This is so awesome. I'll be there. I'll find someone. I'm just going nuts. Yeah. And we even kind of did that when we met him in person. We were just like, dude, if you ever want to invite us to anything, we will come. This other girl came up who also works in like talent. Yes, she was you awesome. Know? She was great. Uh, New Zealand, fun accent. Dallas, Texas. Dallas, she, Texas. SMU. I went to school in Dallas, Texas. <laughs> I was like, you did? And we were just like, yeah. uh, anything you want to invite us to, we will be there. And Brad just kept going like, test us. Test us. I dare you. Invite us to something you think there's no way we'll come to. I bet we come. <laughs> yeah. I was joking. I was Folding like, the jerseys before the Super Bowl. <laughs> I'll help you do it. I was like, you got a meeting with your boss you're not looking forward to? I'll, I'll talk to you beforehand. Brad, I'll talk to you afterwards. Yeah. We will be there for you it. got a big test? A test. I'll help you with your test. So... That was really fun. Uh, what else? We, uh, I mean, pork bellies, <laughs> yeah. dude. So yeah, it's just like, I don't, I don't know. I recognize a lot of people there, like a lot of sports talk radio, a lot of newscasters. Chiefs players. Yeah. Bobby Bell, who's, I don't know if he's in the hall of fame for the pro football, Canton, but definitely chiefs ring of honor. He's definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah, just like, but then there were some people I was like, I don't know if you're like me and you're just kind of a plus one here. Uh, but there was this woman, I don't know, she's probably a 60 year old black woman. Awesome. Like, so fun. Just so fun. And, you know, they had like four or five different food options. And one of them was just a pork belly in a little cup, it was just little one bite sized pork belly things. And they were awesome. I, I really enjoyed them. And Jake and I were standing right by them most of the time, just hanging out. And this woman comes up, she's like, Do you know about these pork bellies? <laughs> I was like, oh, they're amazing. She's like, I never had pork bellies before this. This is insane. You know, we just became like best friends. You bonded, like, over, bonded over the pork belly. She's like, do you know where these are from? I was like, I don't know, but if I do, I'll tell you. She's like, okay, you tell me that now. Um, and then like she kept going back. A few minutes later, she's like, I'm going to pretend like I haven't <laughs> yeah. been here before. She's like, oh, they got pork belly. Oh, oh I've always be- wanted to try those. <laughs> <laughs> she must have had seven pork bellies. Yeah. Um, so she, she was really fun. We uh, we get into the uh, well as we're walking into the theater. Like Brad just started getting extra silly. Like one, there's people all around us, and Brad like pretty loudly was like, "Man, it's so cool that Patrick Mahomes is gonna make a special appearance." Oh, oh did I just ruin did I just, it? I just ruined the surprise for everybody. Oh in shoot! Front of- <laughs> no one, <laughs> no, no one reacted. <laughs> <laughs> it was that in real life. No one turned around. No one even laughed at the joke. Jake laughed. You laughed. At <laughs> yeah, it. I was like, that's funny. <laughs> but no one did anything. And then we get in there. There's a guy. Oh, we got to talk about when we were talking about the attire. And uh, uh, we're like, what is Chiefs up skill attire? Brad's like, I might just wear like a red kind of Roback shirt. Promo code GRKC20 yep. or Runners20. Yep. Either one works. Yep. Roback. 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 Yep. Roback.com. We love them. Uh, and Brad was joking and was like, might just show up in a full suit and a chief's hat. <laughs> dude, I forgot about that. <laughs> That's what's gonna oh start. my gosh. Oh, dude, that was nuts. <laughs> yeah. I was like, that's obvious. Like, cause I don't have any like chiefs. I don't have a chief's polo or anything like that. I have rowback polos cause those are the best polos in the world. Um, and, but I have a nice chief's hat. I have like the chief Super Bowl hat. And yeah, I said that I was like, I'll just come in a suit and a chief's hat. There was a dude in a, that exact thing. thing. <laughs> he was sitting in a row in front of us. We get into the theater, which is cool. It's where the Chiefs watch a game film. Really nice seats. Great speakers. And they, this dude wearing a full suit and a red Chiefs hat is just taking a little video on his phone. And he's kind of panning around. And before he can get to us, Brad's like, over here. Keep going. Keep going. Over here. <laughs> us. And then we're like doing our, all the things in front of the camera. And then we're like, Brad's like, oh my gosh, that guy's wearing a full suit. Hat. <laughs> and he didn't. Guess what, guys? He didn't look cool. <laughs> like... <laughs> Yeah, by that point, I think I kind of gotten the vibe of like, okay, this isn't like some crazy formal event. We can be a little bit goofy here. Uh, tell them about getting to your seat. Also, yeah, I just, I, <laughs> <laughs> I so my hands are full because there's also free snacks. They had peanut butter filled pretzels. You guys know how much I love you those know, right now. You know we're going in on the snacks. And like, so they were like in this fun little like funnel cone shape. And yeah. I've got those. I got a water. And then they had mini cupcakes, which I see why Kevin Malone hates them. They're actually <laughs> already a mi- miniature version of cake. Yeah. But I had a little mini cupcake. So hands are full. And then you get in there and they've got red and yellow popcorn for you. Mm-hmm. Hands are very full. And so I go to sit down at this seat, which is kind of like a movie theater seat where it's it's up and you're going to have to kind of use your, your romp mm-hmm. to push it down if your hands are full. Well, something with <laughs> my pants or the chairs themselves. But like when I went to use my weight to push it forward, it would just slide off me and I would end up pushing the seat back. <laughs> 
So like as much as I would try to do this, like it just didn't, I just couldn't get the seat to go forward. And I, I refused to like set anything down. I was like, I'm going to figure this out. And I'm looking around behind me. There's like sporting KC player, like professional yeah. soccer. I was like, what'd you guys do with the slippery seat? Yeah. How did you guys figure this Like out? Graham Zussi, like one of like the World Cup like members <laughs> is like right behind watching Jake just like try to shimmy into this thing. Man, is it slippery pants? How did the Chiefs do it? Man. Yeah. yeah do you think, do you think Kelsey has like cupcakes in his hand when he's doing this? This? And oh, yeah, I also think I might have been the only person to bring a cupcake into there. <laughs> no one else was spilling. Sprinkles I did get a video of the cupcakes. Yeah, we were just a little fish out of water there, but it was fun. And but we had fun. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. The documentary was awesome. Mm -hmm. The sound system was pretty cool in there. It's fun watching with a live studio audience because there were funny parts. It is a lot of funny laugh. parts. Yeah, I laughed out loud a lot. Yeah. yeah. I think everyone's going to come out of this loving Kirk Cousins, or at least like our type of audience. I think. Yes. I told Rachel, I was like, you're going to love Kirk Cousins. Oh, like. Yeah, he's just an everyday guy that happens to be a football player. And like, yeah, like his house didn't even look super crazy nice. Yeah. You know, like he had a huge backyard, but like the house itself is his master bedroom. They show his closet with all his clothes and stuff. <laughs> it's just like, that looks like my closet, you know? Um, he rips up, gets, gets a hole, like burns a hole in his sweatshirt. Oh, that's my favorite sweatshirt. Oh man, it's my favorite. And it's like literally like a black sweatshirt with an Adidas logo or something <laughs> on it. Like it's, no, it's nothing I, crazy. I bet they would send you another one. Uh-huh. So anyway, it's just, yeah, I, I think overall, I've already watched like it's part of the second episode. And it's like, this is so good. So fun. Um, yeah, it was, it was a great time. Got a bobblehead uh, to commemorate it. Yeah. We just got, uh, B heads. We got mm -hmm. some, some memories. Yep. It was fun. And yeah, who knows? Planted some seeds with some fun chiefs people. You never know. Yeah. It'd be yeah. so fun to be the chiefs guys. We probably talked for like 20 minutes with Matt McMullen. Who's like the, I don't know. Like he's like the chiefs reporter. Like, there's obviously, like, the main announcer for the Chiefs named Mitch Holtis. I feel like Matt's kind of like the second guy, like, almost like being groomed to be that guy, t potentially. I don't know. I don't know if he prefers the term groomed, but, yeah, he's, like, probably next up. Yeah. Um, yeah, in some line of fun Chiefs yeah. success. But, yeah, really fun. Good times. Good dude. It was a fun event, but I think it doesn't even come close to what Grand Nebu is going to be. Not even close, brother. They will both be in Kansas City, but that's and they'll both be fun, but that's about all they have in common because Grande is going to be amazing. It's it's going to be way longer. I'll tell you that much right a now. A weekend's worth. Um, we yeah. have a couple fun new things to tell Tri you guys about. Trickle them out there. I think you should start with uh, the plan for a Saturday night after the between shows, kind of. Oh yeah, this is so fun. Um, shout out to Brandon Faulkner for the idea. Brandon's Coffee Corner. Brandon's Coffee He's Corner. He's an entrepreneur. He's like, hey, uh, in between, like after the four o'clock show, the people that are you know in between, do you think we go to Sinzetti's for dinner? <laughs> and I said absolutely we can so, so i don't care if you are yeah a part of the vip package or not anybody's invited to sins eddie's for dinner probably be around 6 30 or 7 depending on when the show is getting over what do you think yeah what time will the show get over yeah probably 6 30 or so mm -hmm. there's only one location one here and one in denver uh -huh. so do the one in overland park so if you're heading west you're going the wrong way <laughs> um yeah, I think it should be a lot of fun. Go get Sinzetti's before the uh, little rooftop hang. Or maybe it'll be our send-off for some of you that yeah. didn't get the VIP, which is totally fine. Because uh, we're the VIP pa package is dwindling, and we don't have very many left, quantity-wise. Yeah, it's true. There are still quite a few of the uh, normal ones, though. Yep. And, yeah, update on the rooftop hang. We have a location it's finalized. Secured, baby. Uh, the rooftop is going to be at Chicken and Pickle. Yeah, it's going to be pretty fun. Yeah. They they have a roof. It's really cool vibe up there. It's uh, kind of a fun part of the city. And yeah, we're going to rent out two pickleball courts. Uh, if you guys want to play pickleball while we're there, we're going to have, uh, I think, some food. There's going to be drinks. Mm -hmm. And oh, it's yeah. going to be awesome. It's just yeah. uh, two hours. Yeah. With us. No, no, no age, right? 21. It's not yeah. 21. No, anybody, all ages. Yeah. All ages can come, which is one of the things we're really excited about with that spot compared yeah. to, there's so many like options for bars and stuff. And it's like, well, what if, you know, a yeah. mom's bringing her teenage kid, like chicken and pickle is a great spot for everybody. And it's just, yeah, just great vibes. Probably seven minutes from the, uh, venue, maybe like a little bit longer from Sinzetti's, but yeah. Um, it's going to be, be awesome. It's yeah. going to be so much fun. A great way to cap off Ron, Grand Debut Weekend. Yeah. Um, and if maybe this is the first episode you've ever listened to or just flat out don't know what we're talking about, Grand Debut, it's a weekend of fun. You are all invited to come hang out with Brad and I August 18th and 19th. 
We're going to do uh, a live roast, a uh, private birthday party, mm -hmm. live podcast show, stand-up comedy show with me and Trey, Rooftop Hang, and maybe some other stuff that we haven't told you guys yet. Yeah, we got a few more surprises. I think next sleeve. week might have some more to trickle in. We'll trickle in, baby. To tell you guys about. Um, I would like to, like, I, I think it'd be fun to offer some kind of discount for anybody who would help us recruit some people to come, like a, like a group discount or something. Yeah. And so, like, what if we say, like, if you order four tickets or more, you get a discount. Like you get that'd be kind of fun because no one has bought four or more yet, so it's not like anyone right. who's yeah previously done this got screwed. Yeah, as far as I know, I think it's like yeah, three is the max maybe so far. You thought Caleb Lee got seven last week? I so. did. <laughs> I made a little mistake, but yeah, if you want to bring you know your whole family or you yeah. and some friends or you and some strangers, hey, beat the system. Post in the Facebook group. Sure. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Why? Not? I don't hate it. Do your thing. Find yeah, a loophole. That's fine. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> We're like encouraging them to look, hey, twenty five percent yeah. off. Is that that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's the promo code going to be? The boo twenty five. Yeah. Is Gran, the, yeah. I was just like grande twenty five. <laughs> yeah, but you know, some people out there, you know, Michiganders don't know how to spell grande. Boo b o o twenty five b o o two five, and that'll get twenty five percent off. Twenty five percent off your whole order. You. Yeah. Why not? That's kind of fun. I dare you. All right. I dare you. Dude, yeah. Come join us. Yeah, because we still have, I mean, we're, we're selling well, but we still have more. So if you're on the fence, consider this your push. Because we we are just, we're so excited about it. That's like the majority of what we're talking about all week is just yeah. how can we do this? What can we do here? How can we think about this? So um, it's going to be so fun. Please come. Please come. Please come. Just just please just please come for the grind. Baby. Please do it. Golly, I'm so excited about it. I'm so pumped. Would love for you guys to come. Especially like going to TJ's live event. I mean, just I'm there's sure, just yeah. something about like, and obviously you know this because you're performing live. Like there's something about the energy of it. There's something about like the deeper community. Like obviously walk in love. Those people got to know each other. They became friends. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's just cool. So um, I'm hopeful. I mean, imagine a whole week with these new friends. Like it's going, or a whole weekend. I mean, like a full two days. I don't know. Maybe people are staying Sunday too. Like they're going to become friends with these people, have inside jokes with these people. I, we've seen lifelong friendships come from weekends like this totally. done before. So um, yeah, take me and Brad out of the picture. Just think about the community you'll get and the memories you'll make just with, you right. know, a couple hundred other ghosties. You have yes. this pretty cool common bond. There's just something, yeah, they're salt of the earth people. So humble salty. <sighs> uh, should we do some reviews of the week? Reviews of the week. I'm ready. If you are great. Uh, mine, come on, Google Docs, pull it up. There it is. Uh, mine's coming from Michael PJ8. Do yourself a favor and be a ghosty, I think is what it says. Five stars, best podcast ever. I had the pleasure of meeting Jake at Trey's Grow Up Tour in Atlanta, and it was crazy that in about a span of two seconds, while I was saying, nice to meet you, I had the thought of, why did I say that? I'm so dumb. We've met before. Oh, wait a second. No, we haven't. <laughs> Phew, that wasn't a dumb thing to say after all. <laughs> Just having that internal thought to myself is a true testament to Jake and Brad's ability to become two of your best friends who you feel like you've known forever all through a microphone. It's obvious once you listen to this podcast that Jake and Brad are two of the most genuine people on this earth. They're funny and caring, and they even inspire myself to be a more positive person with even the little things in life. If you're looking for a lighthearted, hilarious podcast, check these guys out and join the ghosty crew. You won't regret it. Let's get it, Michael J. Let's get it. Let's get it. I remember meeting you, Michael. That's awesome. Great to hear from you again. That's uh, you know you're you're so used to meeting fans and stuff. I'm not, and so I'm always like, like they say their name, and I'm always like, hey, I'm Brad, and they're always like, I know, I know. And I'm like, well, just in case you don't. Yeah, I always introduce myself. Just feels polite. Yeah, you don't want to be presumptuous. They no. know me. They're in line. <laughs> they know I am. There was a guy that came up to me. He's like, dude, you're really funny. You should start a YouTube channel. And I go. Do do you know? I, I, he really like uh, he did a pretty on? good job, and I was like, do you, uh, "I okay, you know." And they, oh, okay. everyone else around him started laughing. So like, okay, got him. <laughs> Mine's from Just Drinks. Uh, it says, "Sup, boys? I've been a listener to the pod for a long time, and I love it. I probably started when y'all were at episode fifty-five. I just want to say I also grew up listening to my dad's weird music." Uh, Daddy sang bass and Mama sang tenor. <laughs> but when we were kids, we used to change up the lyrics to "Daddy ate steak and Mama made dinner." <laughs> That's clever. Uh, so when I heard Jake bring up that I free friend, free friend cracked up. That's a new word. Free friend. Uh, so she has a hard uh, time spelling. Oh, wow. 
and uh, he's Haley from Matri Roaster's brother. Oh, oh. You're, they're her freefin' brother. Oh, yeah, part of the best freefin' coffee family in the world. Fun. Well, thanks for the, the review, dude. I thought you were going to read the one. Did you see the other one about the guy from McLean's? No, did he? Oh, yeah. We read gotta, that one, too, or just tell the story, either one. I, I didn't even see that. Yeah, basically. Like, I saved that one for you, but I like that one. That, yeah, so we met. Rachel and I went on an early morning walk one day this week, last week. I don't know when it was, but uh, we, we got our stuff. We're about to sit down, and this dude walks, like, around the corner and looks at us and freaks out like I've never seen a fan freak out in my life. I was like, this dude <laughs> thinks that I'm Harry Styles. I mean, this is the kind of treatment you give – you know, Sean Mendez or something. And I mean, like almost dropped to the ground. I think he stayed on his feet, but like his body dropped to the ground, like kind of a quick squat, <laughs> both head, uh, hands on his head, like did a full 360. It is like, I can't believe this. A full 360. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. And, you know, it was like, wasn't saying anything. It was like, I, I, you know, at this point, like I assume he knows me, but I don't know what's going on. And yeah, come to find out his name is Harry. He was awesome. He ended up sitting down and talking to us for probably 15, 20 minutes. But he, long story short, he came all the way. He drove in the middle of the night from Oklahoma to support his friend who had a disc golf tournament this uh, that day in Kansas City. And he came, I think, kind of to support his friend and kind of was like, well, I mean, Jacob Bradner in Kansas City, maybe I'll see him. And so he convinces his friend as, as they drive throughout the night. Uh, they drive from like midnight to 6.30 a.m. and they go straight to McLean's. Mm-hmm with the hope of maybe he would run into you or I there. <laughs> and this is, I think, the second time ever that Rachel and I have woke up early and walked to McLean's. It's not a regular thing we ever do. And anyway, I think he was just losing it because he's like, I can't believe this worked. Like, I just, last night I was in Oklahoma. Yeah. Now I'm at McLean's. I mean, the odds of it working is very slim. Yeah. So, yeah. So that was just really cool. It was really fun to talk to him. He, like, FaceTimed his girlfriend. We talked to her for a little bit. He goes up. He's like, I'm going to order something. I'll be right back. Well, that happens. Another uh, two people come up like, oh, my gosh, you're Jake. I was like, oh, what's going on? I'm like, we're from North Carolina. I was like, whoa, what is happening? <laughs> McLean's needs to sponsor us, I think. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. Two out-of-state ghosties who came to McLean's because you're always saying, like, come to McLean's. Maybe you'll see us. Right. And it happened back-to-back, and they were in town for the Taylor Swift concert. And so it was, uh, it was a wild, like, 30 minutes of McLean's. Yeah. Just a small world kind of thing. That's so fun. I've yeah. been to McLean's twice. Uh, last two days. I haven't seen anybody. <sighs> Just been sitting there by myself. So yeah, bummer. Saw some K State basketball players there yesterday. Yeah. They didn't say hi. <laughs> so they are not fans of the content. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, that was all fun. Uh, Brad, do you want to end this episode with a jingle? I do. Um, this uh, jingle is written by a fan named Megan who signed the end of the jingle forever a ghosty Megan. Oh, thanks. Don't know her last name, but thanks for your loyalty. Uh, hard word to spell, Megan. Yes, I'll, I'll say it's a different way of spelling it. M e a g a n. Nope. M e g h a n. Nailed it. One more. Oh, I didn't nail no, it. No, no, close. Just keep spelling. You, you're not. You're not done yet. M e g a n. Classic. No, no, no. M e g h a n. In? In. Two ins. Weird, Mego. Maybe it's Megan. We don't know. Megan. Uh, what's, Meg what's the song? Oh my gosh. Uh, Uptown Girl instrumental, which is, of course, by Elton John. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think I'm plugged in. I think this should work. This one's uh, for, for uh, you to sing to Rachel someday. So Is it really? Is it from yeah. that perspective? It's about Rachel. I'll say that. Fun. Nice. Thanks, guys. You guys are too kind. I know I hit the wrong key there quite a few times. That was tougher than I thought. I thought you did nice. Thanks. Uh, well done, Megan. Well done, Rachel. Shout out to Megan. Well done, yeah. Brad. Uh, fun little show today. Shout out, Caitlin, for joining us. Vote on the schmores in our Facebook group. Just join the Facebook group regardless. I'm shocked at how often maybe I'll meet someone uh, after a show or something, and they'll you know, introduce themselves as a ghosty, and then uh, I'll mention something about the Facebook group, and like, oh, yeah, I need to join that. Yes. So more people are not joining than I would think are not. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> it is fun. Yeah, it's so much fun, and it's a great way to interact. And yeah, so many different ways. So thank you, guys. Come to Grande Boo and yeah, find some three other people and save yourself some money. <laughs> Pretty fun. What a hack. Yeah. I uh, forgot right. to give any updates. Every newlywed couple, uh, it's been sent. It's been DM'd over 200 times already in the last hour and a half. Okay. I feel like that's a good sign. Yeah, that's a good sign. I think it's going to hit the algorithm good. in a bit. Also, very interesting. You know, you can see how many people have mentioned you in your story. We're on two people's story right now. This one is a guy named Blake Miller. Tap it over. 
This person's name is also Blake Miller. And you remember the girl I met after the San Francisco show who took a $400 Uber? Her name was Blake Miller. Different ones? Yeah, different one than these two. Blake Miller, common name. I guess so. Or we're a Blake Miller channel. Yeah, we're just, yeah, we're just hitting the algorithm for BMs. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever works. While they're, while they're sitting there, you know. All right. Let's, let's do it. Have a good week. See you Wednesday. Ghost Runners Podcast. Ghost Runners Podcast. Everybody.